Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play War Tales. I'm your host, Carlos Fade. It's episode 87. It's beer 030 on a Friday night. So we're here in Drawback County, and we have to talk to someone in here. Let's see, the professors in this place, they don't seem all that happy about everything. Professor Othollard. Prince Erold asked me to translate an ancient text, but it's by far the most complicated I've had to study in my entire career. It seems to be some kind of instruction manual filled with technical terms, and I think some <laughs> words are missing. I wonder where he found it. Could it be in the tomb in this region? <laughs> the Dean refuses to fund my expeditions. You might as well hunt Grutles, Professor Morith, she says. But I'm not hunting Grutles. Dragons did exist. If she'd just let me explore those blasted caves, I'd finally get her proof. I'm all for exploring caves that might have had dragons in them. What if you went for me? I'll give you whatever profits your discoveries yield as payment. All I want is to prove that old crone wrong. Okay. We will do great things together. Oh boy. I've already listed the locations you need to inspect. Three caves where you stand the best chance of finding dragon bones. I'm all for hunting dragon bones. Explore the Great Growler Grotto in Artes, the Great oh. Growler Cave in Grinmere, and the and Fat the Claw Cave, cave in, in Ludern. We've been to some of those. Okay. So we have to find dragon bones now. Oh, and that it's going to take us to other regions. That's kind of cool. I can't focus on my research. I heard that a broker was murdered in Gosenberg. I hope my mother is all right. <laughs> I volunteered to take part in Professor Grind's experiments, but my application was rejected. Professor Grind? For real? I think... I'd get slapped for using that name. <laughs> imagine, imagine that as your pickup line in a bar. What's your name, Professor Grind? Want to hit the dance floor? Now I'm doomed to study medicine like a mere village apothecary. Oh, you poor thing. Okay, nothing else in here, really? I don't see anything. All right. Well then. So there's that location. I mean. Well then, so we have Drombeck Castle as well, which we kind of have to go weave our way around here, unless we can find some other way to get over there. It might be a worthwhile trip, what you say, going up around here and taking a look. Is there a different way to get where we want to go? What the hell? We got a storm or something? What the hell is that? What is that? What are those things? Oh my god, what are they? They're like white, awful looking creatures? What the hell are those? Okay, up there and to the left. It looks like you might be able to get up in this direction. I'm, I'm not letting those things go near me. What the hell is that? They're like some kind of white zombie? Hullbug. This is Holberg. Okay. Holberg. What's in Holberg? Oh, they have they have a inn. Very nice. No one can make me serve inquisitors. Not even the prince. Gosenberg wine. Seed biscuits. Recipe for seed biscuits. Okay. Well, Who's this? Oh, God. My pony froze to death last week. I'll leave with the next caravan traveling through the village. We're not exactly a caravan, but you could go with us. Might you be looking for work? Might you I'll be run. looking for work? You might be. Assassinate Wolkaras's troop. Okay, vanquish the Alder gang. And vanquish this troop. Okay, I got some missions. I'm not too concerned about that. That's just a way to help pay for ourselves here. But what about this? 
apothecary's office. Okay. And the forge where we want to hit this guy and say, I'm give me all of you. this. If you're with the Inquisition, I won't even repair your boots. You won't? Well, can't blame you for that, can I? Okay, depart. So there's that. I don't know what those white things were though, but I do not want to, I did not want to find out. Those zombie looking things. So here's the castle. Cool. All right, let's go up here. Because there's some guys over here that we can fight. Might want to go dragon hunting though. Dragon bone hunting. Drombat castle. What's going on over here? There's a forge here as well. The closer you are to the prince, the more suspicious the Inquisition gets. You have no idea how many patrols come to check on me each day. <laughs> Bummer. So what about here? The prince's castle. Well, well. Look who's here. That'd be me. I had a feeling the woes befalling our region would attract your ilk. If I could afford to. I'd send you back where you came from. But it so happens that I need people like you. Discreet and daring. The most brilliant minds of this county are headed toward the tomb of the ancients. I want you to join them there and protect them from the creatures roaming the ruins. Okay. One more thing, mercenaries. If I'm entrusting you with this mission, it's not because I like hiring cell swords. I expect you to be more discreet than my soldiers. Under no circumstance should you draw the Inquisition's attention. Okay. I can do that. So don't draw the Inquisition's attention. Well then. If that's the case. So, in the direction of this... We, we have to go up, look for the scholars and draw back tomb. Okay, do we want to go to the tomb first then? Before we do the dragon bone thing? What is this? The fate of drawn back. As the eyes reckoning tears through the lands of drawn back, the Inquisition investigates. You let the scholars save the stable owners. Hand the new astral innkeeper over to the Inquisition. And where is the Inquisition at again? Where the Inquisition camp is right up there. Hmm. Okay. And then we have what? Where the, these are the caves. The Great Growler Cave. The Fat Claw Cave. And this cave down here with this really easy vanquish mission. What do we want to do? Oh my god, it's paralyzing. Um, I got a person that I need to hand over to the Inquisition. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go this way. And this should lead us where we got all the way around to the camp. Okay. Who are those losers? The Kappas. Do these guys have a ghost pack thing for us? The ghost pack? I see that you are worthy of wearing our war paints. I don't want the war paints. Oh, hold on. You, mercenaries, do you remember us? You helped us take down the scholars in the Ludern tomb. Mm -hmm. I didn't think we'd meet again. Deep in enemy territory of all places. I wish I could say we've been living happily since you left. But the scholars' intrusion has enraged the clans. We were sent here to retrieve relics stolen by Alazar over the years. Officially, we're hunting the ghost pack, but our real mission takes up all of our time. Maybe you could help us keep up that pretense. Um, the eyes reckoning I'm good with will that. probably make things harder for you. Talk to Lorena. She's got something to give you. Lorena. Hunter, tracker, Lorena. Alazar angered the gods because of all the ancient tombs they plundered, even their own. They definitely deserve the reckoning. <laughs> the consequences of their actions extend far beyond what they imagine. Our druids were able to gain a better understanding of the beast after it was drawn to Ludern. They gave us an advantage that will come back to bite them. Take this axe. 
It was made to kill pat monsters more efficiently than any other weapon. Instead of destroying us, <coughs> the scholars made us stronger. Harag is much less vulnerable to the ghost pat than before. All thanks to Alazar. Ironic, isn't it? So we got this axe. It's probably a one-handed axe, isn't it? Yep. One-handed axe. Courageous axe throw. After using a valor-based skill, this unit, even if they are engaged, deals 20% damage to the farthest enemy within 6 meters. Always lands a critical hit against the ghost pack. That's fun. Okay. Well. That's cool. We'll find the ghost pack later. Where is this ghost pack? Report mentions a scholar who disappeared on the way to the statue waterfall. Oh, darn. Get to camp. Well, then. Look at all our bears. Our many, many bears. Many, big, big, huge bears. You are the one prisoner. So, what do we have here? We got a carcass. We got bears that we can do. Imp rope. We should probably use honey instead for a little while. So we got that. We got the beehive. Everybody's got stuff to do. Oh, do we have anything going on in the scholarly region here? Codex management. No, we're still deciphering stuff. Got a couple that we don't have all the pieces for. Okay. In that case, let's eat. Profession experience gain well. Fatigue for the troop, happiness, dexterity increase, movement speed. Just kind of, I'm just going to kind of start using things to fill, fill up here. I'm not going to get real picky with it. Getting towards the end of the game. And as far as this goes, let's see. We maxed out those three are all level 12. This is the only one we're behind on. Unprincipled, ill-gotten gains. Master Assassin, we get a new crime and chaos. So we can learn if the troop is wanted, move speed is increased. Innocence, the suspicion meter depletes faster. Regular sale of stolen items and you can spend influence to negotiate with the guard. Um. Let's deplete the suspicion meter for the few times that we're actually in a position to use that. For each battle, a new injury. I'm not built for this life. I should have listened to my mother and become a farmer. Sulk. He gains the sulky status. After rest, the valor points earned by the troop are reduced by two. Overanalyze. Requires one and he gets minus three. Okay. So we lose, we lose three for that. For today, well... You see the letter. The Tiltron informant has news for you. Tiltron informant has news for me. Okay, let's make a note about that. Dunk. Tiltron. The Tiltron informant has news. Great. Well, since we're going to go back that way and look for Dragon. Bones. We want to go what up here and turn right. Oh wait a minute, that was the. This is where we need to go. Let's drop this person off at the Inquisition. I'm glad that your company answered my call. I need people I can trust, not mere mercenaries who might misunderstand my faith. The Eyes' reckoning is very odd in this county. It destroys taverns and stables, kills dozens of people. Elsewhere, the God of Light manifests himself once or twice a year at most, and only for a handful of heathens. I doubt that merely killing those who survive the reckoning will be enough to appease the God of Light. We must find what sparked his wrath, the original heresy. Are you with me? Very okay. well. Our first order of business is to study the victims of the Eyes Reckoning. Discovering what they have in common could give us insight into the heresy we're looking for. Protect me on the way, and I will examine the bodies. Oh, brother. Okay, you're coming with me? Well, I need to get rid of this soldier first. 
We will prepare a special pyre for the innkeeper. Yeah, but... Walk in the light, Mercy. And over prisoner. We will cleanse this heretic soul. Good. Okay. There you go. All right, so she wants... She wants an escort. Uh, well, we were going to go do dragon bones, but I guess since we have a person to escort, let's go escort her then. We have to escort her, not the other way around. Ghost pack type things. Okay, what do we got going over here? Nothing yet. Let's go this way. That was the A ghost pack. During the next rest, we'll have to pay. Right here. What do we got? Inspect. There's nothing left of these merchants' wares. They could have been slavers or fur traders for all we know. That said, slavery goes against the eye's teachings. So it could be the reason for their death. Let's not tarry. Okay, where are we going next? Oh, a bunch of different places. Okay. Well, lady. That's a lot of wolves. Oh, lots of wolves. You guys can take those wolves on. Yeah, you'd be great for that. Okay, where do we want to go? To the right? Right up in here? Is it up here? We have to inspect it up there. It's right next to the old uh, castle. Alizarian soldiers. No surprise here. These men probably blasphemed or committed some kind of crime against the eye. Well... But I don't understand. These bodies are nothing like we saw earlier. We should keep going. Okay. So we're gonna go here. Blasphemer! Uh-oh. That's a problem. What do we got up here? Is it up in this direction? It's up to the right, eh? It's up there near the tomb, maybe? Is that where it is? We have to go up near the tomb? Because I don't know what those things are. How on earth are we supposed to get over there? The storm is not going to make it easy for us, is it? We're going to assume we have to go around, but I'm not sure that we can. Well, maybe we can. What's that? Is that? That's not an inspection point, is it? Oh, yeah, it is. Is this one? Oh, it's just one of these. The troop was touched by the eye of Alizar. Oh, let's get the hell out of here. They're less than happy with... They don't like that. Touched by the eye of Alizar. And now what? Everybody's wounded? Are you kidding me? Injuries and statuses. Oh, the eye of Alizar got us? Oh. Rotten. Rotten, I say. That's a lot of wounded people. What is it? Struck by the eye. The unit was struck by the all and uh, Health reduced by 25%. Really? Yeah. Okay. Son of a gun. And then the thing is right over here. Health reduced by 25%. Are you kidding me? You jokers. Wait a minute. And I still have more repairs. Than you what? How much repairing do I need to do? That's going to use a lot of stuff up. Holy cow. I do not like getting zapped by the eye, let me tell you. We're gonna have to make a whole bunch more health potions here. That is uncool. Stupid eye. So are the scientists doing something? That's what I'm wondering if the researchers are doing something to cause these strange storms, if they have an observatory somewhere where they're messing with things and this is how it's happening. Do I have enough remedies? 
How many remedies do I have? I got six left. Oh my god, I have just enough. Cure for the plague? What? You use a cure for the plague? Okay, yeah, we'll use a cure for the plague. Jeez. Okay, is that everybody? Oh my gosh. Okay. Can we put a pit on here? can't. Can we put it over here? You guys leave us alone. We don't want to have anything to do with you. Get out of here. You punks. I do not want to fight those guys. Or these guys. Oh, come on. Leave me alone. Can I... Can I place one here somewhere? Can I place one there? Land boys off the edge. What about that? Yeah, okay, let's go here. Gruesome cave? Is that... Is that a cave we have to do something with? Gruesome cave. Gruesome cave. Okay, where's our thing at? Let's get oriented. It's off to the left. Inspect the bodies. I don't want to inspect that. Let's see. There's a gruesome cave, and then... What's the... We're in the complete wrong direction. we got to go that way. What's in the gruesome cave? Let's not find out. Let's go this way. Is this where we're supposed to go? Which way are we supposed to go? No, we're completely wrong. What are we doing here? My my location sensing is all off. Okay, now what? We're we're totally off base here. Get down here. Can we touch the rope? No! Distract! Perch! We're gonna give him the perch. I don't want to fight those guys right now. So what is it? Is that the thing we're supposed to inspect? Is right over there? It looks like it. So we got losers over here. And that's the thing we're supposed to inspect. Okay. It's not a pretty sight. The pony pulling the cart seems to have exploded. <laughs> I wonder what these farmers did to deserve to die like this. Maybe they robbed a shrine on the way, or insulted a priest. Could there be a connection with the other reckonings? We studied three different occurrences and they didn't seem to have anything in common. It's as if... as if the eye was striking at random. <laughs> no, that's impossible. The God of Light does not punish without cause. There must be another explanation. We will get to the bottom of this. Sure, well, since we're here... Level 12. Oh, God. How many are there? 9, 12, 15, 18, 20. Okay. So here is an interesting thing to think about. What are these? They're Brotherhood guys. Can we capture them? We, we don't get anything for capturing and turning them in, do we? Even if we turn him into the Inquisition. So, you guys are caught in the mud. You got a strong man. Oh, God. Okay. You got four. Maybe. Maybe a fifth guy over there. Well, let's count them. There's 22. So, here's four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we can see all of them. Okay, that's important. That lets us know there's no hidden people. And this guy has a huge ass. Wow, he's the pummeler. Okay. 
I got some ideas about how I want to handle this. For starters, I want to move these guys around. Okay. I want to make the pummeler come to us. So for now, we're just going to move some people around. Yeah, like this. Okay. That. There. Over here. This way. Let's see. We got a guy here and a guy here. Okay. This is not ideal. We're going to get this set up in a minute. Because what we want is for these bozos and these bozos to have to run to us. So obviously we don't want to leave that person there. I don't want a bear to be too close like Casper and get his butt kicked. So what do we have here? I got a hired killer here. I want to hit that hired killer with Jedruk or Pete. So where where are either one of those guys? Jedruk, Jedruk is right there. That's where we're going to want him. We want to swap that. So we want Jadruk to be able to run. He can get right out here. He can get all the way up here. Good. We want him up there. Now. Manish, you're there. Casper, you're there. Jenna's back here. She can stab the hell out of things. Old Geared, you're here. That works. Now, what do we want to do about this? I'm going to want one archer like Kira to be pointed in that direction with not Lucy. I got to have the other one. Arim. Okay. Here we go. Let's do this. Arim, we want the bear here to kind of guard the flank. This is Pete. If this guy's going to punch us multiple times, Pete should be able to reta retaliate every single time. So Lucy, you're going to go over here and you're going to switch places with who's this? Lydric, I'd like to have somebody a little more sturdy. But I don't think I have an option there. The sturdy option, there's Olgird and there's Manus. Manus is my sturdy option. But I have a sturdy option in Jadrick. Where's, where's Pete? Pete, Pete, Pete. Pete, Pete, where's Pete? Pete, Pete, Pete. I don't see Pete. Something's wrong. Something's off. Where's Pete? Oh, there he is. Okay. Um, got a two-handed guy here. So Pete's there. He can take that guy or the two-handed guy. You're there, Lydric. Uh, you're weak, but you'll work. Alana, we're going to switch her with that person. So Dratus is going to be over here to backstab people. So what then I need is a bear here. And now I have two-hander, 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 Lucy. And I have a two-hander over here. Okay, we're going to do that. I got a whole bunch of two-handers that can go in either direction. And I've got Greet and Lucy and there's Alana. Okay. This guy right here has to get taken care of. So, actually, let's swap this. We'll put a two-hander back here. Let's take out this guy first, Jadruk. It's you. Weaken him. Like that. That's how we like it. Oh, can you finish him off? Oh, maybe, maybe not. Not quite. Okay. Where'd this guy come from? I counted everybody. Oh, there's 22 and I counted 20. Like a moron. Oh, man. Okay. Lucy. That's my fault for being stupid. Hmm. 
That's my fault. I was stupid. I counted 20 and there's 22. Okay, but that did exactly what I thought it was going to do. So, Jadruk and Pete. Pete, go take care of this guy. The Ravager. Make him bleed. Remember, he's got that new ability. He does some damage equal to a percentage of his armor. That's why I wanted to kill that guy. Because when he attacked, that'd be four repasts against him. Which would be awesome. Kira, greet. He's going to come up here on you. So let's do this. Let's move forward a little bit. Let's poke him. And then I want you to kind of move like this. Move like Jagger. Through the fog. To the bear. Almost where I want to be with these guys. He got close. Manus or Olgeard? Let's do this. Manus. You got a lot of hit points. I want you to go up here and tie this guy up. A lot of armor points. Oh, yeah. Stand there together. I'll hit you and then I'll take off. That'll be great. set up is it okay Ubanon okay that's a pretty good way to handle things I want this bear to come in here next so Bear, make your way over. Close, but no banana. Okay, I get 150 points hitting the first time. 150% on a critical hit. So let's do this. Doink. Actually, let's just use this first then we're gonna hit well it's the first hit it doesn't count second hit so oh that's sweet Jesus wow okay let's grab wrath okay let's move him out of here That's why I wasn't worried about him or the other guy getting close enough to make two hits worthwhile there. Oh, Geard, you really need to get over here and hit this guy. That way, he can't hit Ubanon. Oh, blackout. He didn't get hit. Oh, that's tough. Jen is here. She can do a whole lot of damage in a hurry. I don't want her to yet, though. I don't think. 
Hmm. What's my next best move? Great is probably killing this guy so he can start fighting in that direction. That was effective. Okay. I like that. I think I'm just gonna leave him there. I'm leaving him for the hope that this guy comes up and gets close enough to him that I can make it worth my while to punch both of those guys. So really, it comes down to Jenna. Do we want to get her guy off Manus? Let's do this. Very effective. And then I think the thing can do with her, she can't quite get where I want her to go. So kind of get her out of the way, actually. She might be okay there. But I don't want to risk it. She hit her own guy, that's awesome. Okay, here he comes. Is he gonna make it far enough? Yep, he is. Great, okay. He doesn't get the 150 bonus that this guy does, but it's okay. He's gonna sneak right on in here. Russian Gale is gonna knock them back. That guy dies. That's nice. Okay. Okay, what I want you to do is move as far as you can. Because you want to make them run to you. Here's a hired killer. I'm going to get up here on my bear and her. That's bad. I don't like that. I didn't see him. He was the second guy that we missed. Yeah, now you're running out of armor. You're going to have to get out of there. Xenia. Okay, Xenia. Let's do this. Switch. That's nice. That's nice. Okay. What happens if I do this? I just do that. I'm going to leave her there then. It's getting dangerous. Kira, that bear is probably going to go for that guy. So here's what you probably need to do. Is switch and let's do this. See how many people we can hit with this. one guy so far. Make the bear even tougher. Give him fury. Mr. White Claw. And then go like this. Pound him. Oh man, Pete's got really low hit points here. That is not good. Okay, then you're gonna move over here. You gotta, you gotta do something. You gotta help. <laughs> you 
Bear, come help me, buddy. I need you bears. You guys gotta get in here. It would be a shame to lose Pete after all the work we've done to put him in there, to, to get him handled. You can come over here and help. Okay, okay. You can also stab this guy in the back, but I would rather her stab this guy. Like this. Blackout. All enemies in the area has a 50% chance to miss their next attack. Oh, I can't quite get what I want, though, out of that. All I can really do is this and try to heal him just a tiny little bit and then sort of get out of the way. Okay. Go, bear. Kill him, bear. He's gonna try to get this guy, Mr. Pugilist. That's good. <clears throat> okay, I need your help. You have to move like this. And you're gonna have to do this. And hope that you can survive it, pal. It's a big bear. Hope it grabs enough people's attention there. These bears don't have sound effects, they're silent bears. Polar bears are silent. Smacking people. A new round is starting. Okay, the trouble begins here. This guy could be in a lot of trouble. So he needs to move. Um, probably the best thing for him to do is move up here. And maybe spend a point. Can you move anywhere over in here? You can't. Okay. Leave that spot. Okay, so now we're back over to here. I gotta get Pete out of here before he gets hit. Pete. Let's go take this person on. this is a person you can survive against. This is dangerous for Kira to be over here by herself. So... Dreadus has a really good chance to kill a bunch of people here. Or, uh, Harim. Harim, let's do you. Okay, that's going to earn some points. Stab you. Huh? 
Yep, we get the extra hit in there because he's a friend. That's nice. <clears throat> Dreadus, you get a chance to go now. Okay. Go over here and hit this guy. Not from behind, so you can't finish him off, can you? Okay. We can't get directly behind him, so... We'll do that. And we'll just kind of move over here, I guess. I don't want you to do anything. Old geared. Or Jadruk. Jadruk, can you finish him off? Good, that'd be great. Free that bear. Free that. Let's go over here. Taunt him. If he's going to attack, I want him to attack, attack Jadruk. So he can retaliate. Which means... Manus, what do we want you to do? You gotta wait for these guys, dude. That's what it's gonna be. We're gonna wait for him, we gotta wait for him, we gotta wait for him. All these guys gotta wait. Except for Leo, who's kind of wounded. So Leo's probably smartest move. Well, Leo already went. Xenia hasn't gone. We're going to need Xenia over here. So Xenia... Move in this direction. You got nobody standing near him. Let's try to crit. Blacked out. Oh man. Son of a gun. Son of a gun. Okay. Best thing we can do then is get her in the same position and just try to just try to backstab. That's it. And then and then we could black him out. Low blow applies blackout to all enemies. Okay. Temporary Valor points. I don't want you to do anything. Well, you're engaged with him. This other guy's coming. He's going to be able to make it. So, do we have... Spear Chucker Lucy. How far can you get over here? Dang it, you can't get far enough. Alright, anyways. Okay, you can at least get right next to him. Kill the weak. Can't get them. Can't quite get... Oh, can you move a little bit more? That'd be great. Okay, that's nice. And it separates those two? Okay, do this. Where the hell did that guy come from? What? Where did he come from? Oh, man. Leo's dying. This son of a bitch. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him so dead. You are a dead man. You do not do that to my friend. Very angry. Bear, go get somebody. <clears throat> you are not gonna kill Leo. Okay, you gotta wait. 
here? What are you doing? You're doing that. You're doing this. You're doing this. Okay. Okay. We gotta wait for him to move. And then you can head down here and start mowing those people down. So who's next? Eat. Bear. What do I got? I got three people I can still move. Xenia. Him. They moved. They moved. Kira's over here. She can... We can mud him. Okay. Hit your animal. Give him fury. Back up a little bit. You son of a bitch. Oh god, he's dying again. If I lose Leo, I'm going to be so mad. Okay, in that case... Who's over here that can do anything? Olgeard? Get over here. I need you to, like, kind of stand in the way here and take the hit for him. <clears throat> How far can you run? Over here? Good. Do it. Earn a point and make that person pay. Make him pay again. Where did this person come from? Clearly, the numbers are not in my favor. What the? Jesus, how many times is he going to be dying? Jenna. Gosh, darn it. That's the third time. Take that. It says we got eight? So there's one over there. Just gonna try to go through here and shoot my guy again. She got the wrong one, thankfully. Man. I don't like these turkeys coming out of the, the... I can't get over there? Oh, son of a gun. Okay. Uh, eight more people we counted them and there were 20 there were only two extra ones and now there's like 12 of them hit this guy and kill him will you so what do we got we got one two stop rubber banding we got two bowmen over here here's a third guy fourth guy fifth guy six seven eight this is what we got okay Xenia, who's left? Somebody and two bears. Gotta be somebody over here. It's gonna be, is it you? It's Gideon. Okay. I don't want to wait for her to shoot at Leo, so but I can't move. I can do this. You old goat. Look at her, gray-haired lady. Take that, Grandma. <clears throat> okay, Bears, you need to help me out here. Go kill that one. That way Leo is no in no more jeopardy. No more jeopardy for Leo. God, we gotta get someplace where we can heal. We're out of healing treatments. Okay. Kira doesn't have any points, so where's Alana? She's right here. Dratus, 
What can you do? You can't make, you can't do tactical order. And Alana can do this. That's all she can do. She can get three points for us. Huh? It's better than nothing unless we can move somebody over. Jadraduke. There we go. Someone like Dreyas. Or Xenia's here. She can do this. She's got the grab him. Grab him. Gonna grab him, X. She's gonna get an attack of opportunity. And that helped. Okay. Now, who do I wanna go? Dreyas, can you kill some of these people? That earns you a point. Okay, so since that earns you a point, scoot right up here. Do tactical order. Is Alana in that? Can you scoot any more? Tactical order, tactical order. She's not in it? And you can't scoot anymore? Yeah, you can. Right there. Tactical order, baby. Okay. Brilliant. Spearman's holding his own over there. Now, Alana. You have to move just a little bit here, darling. Right here. Do this. You're going to get double for it. <clears throat> Should be about, yeah, there we go. About eight. That's nice. Now come back to here. You don't need to wrath. Just do this. Let him get the final punch for free. It's free for him anyways. Then he can, if we need Lucy to go do, or Lyderick to do something over there, we can. Okay. Now, Jadruk, you got a bunch of points. We're going to do this. Go kill people. Oh, did you already take your turn though? You did. God damn it. Okay. That's okay. We got Kira. Kira's going to move. anybody or do we want to wait for somebody to get over there we can actually do some serious damage there's still this loser over here leo's fine manis is here oh and here's jenna okay here we go jenna he's got nobody within four meters of him so you should be able to completely own him take this so that your next hit is massive Oh, and the opponents finally want to flee. My God, thank you. Oh, that was awful. We got no no way to heal anybody. Okay. So that was there. Well, here's what we have to find out now. Oh, jeez. We have to camp. Okay. It's not great here. It's because we got wolves close by. So we're going to try to get across this bridge. But I hope this is the way we need to actually go. What's the map say? If we go this way and get out here, we can get to Holberg, and they have a place where we can do both smithing and some other stuff, so. Okay. Leo, can we actually cure you with zombie plague stuff? Cure for the plague to heal a head injury. 
that helps Pete. Does anybody else need? We heal. We did all that. So old gear makes a level. And he's, we're just going to do strength for you, buddy. So he's a level 11. He can get upgraded equipment. And Pete makes a level to level 11. And we'll just do strength for him as well. So that's nice for those guys. Oh, and then Leo, what's your second axe like? It's 34 and this one's 40. Well, we'd have to add, and it's level 11, and we'd have to add new oils to it. So here you go, Inquisitor. You want to sit around the fire? Good Lord, that was intense. Oh my goodness. It looked like we were going to lose someone there. <laughs> For a little bit. Not not very happy about that. I was going to be in a in a bad mood there. Eel soup. Are you kidding me? Eel soup. food here to feed these guys for a while. I got 23 days worth of food it says, but sometimes it doesn't always feel like it because what you're actually looking at is is a bunch of stuff. Yeah, like syrup is used for is a cooking ingredient and stuff. Pike soup is simple and doesn't count for a lot of points. See it's six food. So compared to forty or fourteen. So, pay the group. Man, agran, il soup. Let's get rid of all the corpses for the bears. Run speed increased. What else we got? Strength increased. Critical hit increased. Oh, and then we have this spare and cider. All right, folks, it's been an hour long episode for sure. It's a very long fight. Jedruk and Peter now best friends. Okay. Well, folks, I'm going to try to get back to town. <laughs> I'll see you on the next episode. We're going to try to get back somewhere where we can actually uh, get help. We need to make a whole bunch of healing potions. I will see you all next time. And until then, happy gaming, everyone.